Hello, this is Andrew from Seeing the Labs, and in this tutorial, we're going to look at passing data from one view to another using a set. We're going to be using a table view to demonstrate this. I have this existing tutorial here, which I'll place a link on screen to the tutorial and also the source code if you want to start off from where I am. Basically, um, it's just got car models in a table view. So, what we're going to do, we're going to make it so you can click on the car make and it will go to another table view and I'll show models. So for say for BMW we'll show three series, five series, etc. So starting off we'll just head on over to our storyboard and what we're gonna do we're going to add in a navigation controller to start off with. Just make it easier later on when navigating application. So drag that on there and delete the view controller on the right side it makes. Drag this over here. And we'll grab this right arrow thing, we'll move it to the left of the navigation controller to set that to our root view controller. Now click on the navigation controller, hide down the control key, drag over and make it a relationship set, which will be the root view controller. Now what we'll, we'll add in one more view controller, which is gonna show us a table view of the model of the cars. So put that onto our storyboard. What we want to do from the middle view controller, hold down the control key, drag it over, and make a show seg. And you'll see this seg line here. So we've got to click on that. And in the identifier, we want to make that to model view. So we use this layer to trigger it to load up this view of the car models. So now that we've got this view controller here, we want to drag a table view onto it. So we'll just find table view in here. So drag that on the right. You've got to sometimes zoom in, otherwise it won't actually put it on there if you zoomed out too much. So now that we've zoomed in a bit, we should be able to drag the table view onto there. Yep. And we'll just resize that to take up the whole screen. And we'll also add in some constraints on the bottom, left, top, and right so it just takes up the whole screen all the time no matter what orientation the device is in so we need to make a new class for this view controller here we've just made so we'll go file new file we'll go poker touch class make sure it's a subclass of ui view controller and we'll just name it model view go next Create. Okay, now we've got that done, we'll go back to our storyboard and in that view controller we just made, we are going to set that to be a class of model view. And once that's set up, click on our table view, hold down the control key and drag it over to the model view. We want to make that a data source and delegate also. So data source and delegate. Okay, now that we've got that set up, we need to connect it to our view controller. So go to the assistant editor. You'll see the model view here. So drag the table view in here and make an outlet and we're just going to name it table view. And then connect that up. Okay, so now that we've got that set up, we'll just close that. And then we'll go to our model view controller. We're gonna set it up to actually pass the make of the car. So we'll create a new variable, bear cell make equals string. And then we'll go back to our view controller and we'll also create another variable, the same name, bear cell make equals string. So, so that, now that's done, we're gonna set it up in here. So you get the car make that selected pass it on to the other view controller. So under the table view, did select row at index path. What we need to do, we need to do cell make equals table data brackets index path dot row. And then we need to do perform seg with identifier. Copy it in here, it's just a bit easier. 
So it's perform seg with identifier brackets model view comma sender is self. So that will open up the second table view we created earlier. We need to do one more function which is called prepare for seg. And basically for it actually shows that view controller. This code will run before and this is where we actually set it to pass the right information. So in here we do if bracket seg dot identifier equals model view. So we want to make sure it's for the correct seg. And then we'll do there vc equals seg dot destination view controller as model view and then you'll do vc dot cell make equals cell make so that will actually pass the data to our model view controller so we've done that all in here so in model view we just need to set up our table view and we need to set it up to do something based on what what car make is passed to it. So under class model view up here, do comma UI table view delegate and another one for UI table view data source. All right, and once the view is loaded, we're going to do print line. Select the make and then we'll do cell make just so we know that it's passing the correct information. And what we're going to do, we're going to make a table data array to store the car models. So we'll do there table data, make it a string type. Initially, it's just going to be an empty array. And based on what car make is passed, we're going to fill it up with different models. So to do that, we do switch cell make brackets. We'll do case Ferrari. Make sure we'll do the colon at the end of it. And we'll do table data equals brackets four five eight and do La Ferrari. Do case the second one is BMW colon table data equals brackets M three 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 five R and M five. Do case for Mitsubishi. And the table data equals brackets Evo X and then Evo 9 as well, so Evo IX. And the last case is for Lambo, so case Lambo. The table data equals brackets Adventador. That's how you spell it. And do Huracan. And we'll do Bellardo also. We also need to make a default case in case we haven't set it up. And we'll just make that printer line undefined to the console. That we've done now, we just set, need to set up our methods for our table view. So up the top, we'll do self dot table view dot register class do this second one here. So cell class is UI table view cell dot self. Don't need to fill that in and for cell identifier we'll just use cell 
down here just to make sure that table data is current. So we'll do cell table view dot reload data. Okay, now for our table view methods. So the first one is number of rows in section. So table view number of rows in section. Oops, I just saw it here. Here we go. We return self dot table data dot count. The next one is the self for our index path. And then he'll do their cell. So UI table view cell. Equals self dot table view deck with your reusable cell identifier. Cell as UI table view cell. Your cell dot text label dot text then equal to self dot table data index path dot row. So this will be the actual car model, and that will do return itself. And the final one is did select right index path. So table view did select right index path. And in here we'll just do print line row index path dot row. Selected So now that we've set that up, we'll run our application As you can see, we select Ferrari, it shows 458 LaFerrari, we'll go back the BMW, we'll go M3, 335i, M5 the Mitsubishi, it will show all the different models and so on so just to recap how that works in our view controller, when you select the car make, so say Ferrari, it will store the car make in the cell make here, and then it will perform the seg to show the next table view controller. And before it performs in here, it passes the data to our model view controller. So in the selected make on our model view controller, it will pass that into there. Go back to our model view. It will then get the make we've passed to it, and based on the make, it will fill up that table view with different car models. So you can download the source code below. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe and leave any feedback below. Also, check out our website, Facebook, and Twitter by clicking or tapping any of the buttons on screen.